Hey there guys, I am Sonic Ghost, and today I want to show you guys how I record stuff off of emulators, like how I recorded Pokemon Yellow in the past. It's actually very simple. What I do is, whatever emulator you use to record uh, your Game Swift, like for example, I'm going to use Visual Boy Advance for the Game Boy recording, so we'll go over load up Pokemon Yellow, for instance, since I was just talking about it. What do we do is we come down to start Avi recording, save it as whatever you want, we'll call this Pokemon Yellow version test, and right here, when it says compressor, I usually use TechSmith screen capture coding. This coding here only comes with Camtasia, so if you don't have Camtasia, this coding will not work for you. So if you don't have Camtasia, I suggest using Microsoft Video One because that's another good coding, and it comes out in very nice quality as well. You just have to mess around with its compression quality to see how much lag you're gonna get. But using TechSmith, that's how I always use things before. So we'll go ahead and do a little test recording here. Let me just get this window out of the way. And well, the game's coming through just fine. Doesn't really seem to be like any lag when I'm playing. My buttons are screwed up for some reason. Haven't played this in a very long time, as you can tell. <laughs> really screwed up. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. So as you see, there you go. Basically, no lag when playing. So you want to come up here to stop Avi recording after you're done. And then there it is. So if we play it back really quick. Have to blow it up a little bit. As you see, there you go. There's the video, and it doesn't look half bad at all. In fact, uh, it might look a little blurred here or something, but actually, the video size, it's its a very small frame size, but when you put it into an editing program, it doesn't look this bad. It actually looks better. So, there you go. That's how I record that stuff. Let me just empty the recycle bin. There we go. So that's how I recorded with Visual Boy Advance. Works the same way with how I used to record uh, stuff off of an NES emulator. I would just go to my emulator of choice for recording, which would be this one, FCEUX. I would load up my game. Let's see what's in here. Uh, do Contra, for example. Load it up. Go under File, AVI, Record AVI. Do the same thing. Save it as TechSmith, or if you don't have TechSmith, you save it as Microsoft Video One and start recording. Works in the same fashion. That's how I would record that stuff. And the final thing is how I record uh, ZSNES stuff if I'm recording with, say, someone using Netplay. Now, I'm not going to show you how to use Netplay because, unfortunately, it would differ from system to system how you use it. But basically, I would just use Camtasia. What I would do is I would select the screen region to be this window here, which would be just the game. I would load up a game, play it, and just record it with Camtasia. That's all I would do. It's very simple. And unfortunately, I don't have all the options to show you on Camtasia. But I can No, I can't even show you my options. Dang it. <laughs> I thought I could at least show you those. But I just use screen capturing for recording off of... Uh, of that program there, of ZSNES. That's basically how I record my stuff. I'll probably go ahead and then just show you uh, my settings I'm using for right now. Basically, I'm just recording in 30 frames per second, recording system audio, and using the TechSmith coding once again. You can play around with your compression quality, and you will be able to figure out basically, you know, what suits your needs on frame rates and everything just by playing around with the coding. But that is basically how I record, guys. So it's not all that hard to record off of emulator stuff if you don't have a good screen recorder. You can use free alternatives, like there is Camp Studio, and that one's pretty good. You have to tweak around with settings a lot. I know that. I have a couple friends who use it right now, and they're having problems with it. So they have to keep on going and tweaking. That's why I'm just using Camtasia. But... As for built-in stuff, I know plenty of people who use built-in recorders and have basically no problems with them, just like me. So that's I just want to show you guys really quick how I, uh, how I record stuff off of emulators. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, 
and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.